morning you guys happy wednesday it's wednesday january 10th and welcome back to another daily vlog so i am in my office i just finished my 30 minute walk on the treadmill so got that checked off the list this morning it's 7 30 7 right now so we're gonna get to looking at what work is looking like that and then we'll jump into the shower right quick and get in and out get our lives today <laughs> so i'm a little behind i should have got up a little bit earlier but i didn't it is what it is um okay so let's get this computer together um, Okay, I think I got it. Let me close that down. When I'm at home, for some reason, I only use two screens. When I'm at work, I use three. It's odd. <laughs> I think it's because my desk isn't big enough. Um, it's not as long as that desk right there. So I use the shorter desk for work. No longer desk for myself, that part. But we are up this morning. We have a lot on our to-do on our to-do list. A lot of to-do to-do on our to-do list. <laughs> yeah that came out weird we have a lot to do today and my to-do list is long um so what do we have i thought it was longer than this we only have two things to do today that can't be right right i guess it is no I need to finish finishing touches on today's video uh, for YouTube. Done. Okay. So today's vlog is uploaded. I need to do the thumbnail and the title. The weekend vlog is halfway done so i need to finish on that um we do have a counseling consultation today at 10 30 so i will miss one of my meetings for that and then I have a meeting at 11 but the consultation is only 20 minutes so don't know how a consultation goes don't know what questions she asks i don't even know what questions to ask therapists i didn't look up anything about what i'm supposed to be preparing myself <laughs> talk to a therapist today so i don't know what i'm supposed to ask or what i'm supposed to say so that's not good um but i don't have a clue um and then i need to pay my water bill because they sent me a disconnect notice <laughs> let me explain let me explain they sent me a disconnect notice because i told you guys i paid them by check because they charge too much to pay online and i ran out of checks because i haven't the last time I ordered checks, you guys, I went back because it tells you your previous order was in 2017. So I literally used up all them checks since 2017. Like it took, and that was like, I think I got four books then. This time I only got two books of checks. So it's only 80. I think last time I got 160. Um, so I only got 80 because the only thing I really paid with a check is my water bill. And maybe somebody who's coming to do maintenance on the house or something. But that's about it. Um, so yeah. I had to wait for them came in so they came in yesterday so i'm gonna go pay my water bill today let me put that on the list child because ain't nobody got time ain't nobody got time pay water bill kiosha and that's for your finances and then Jalen volunteered my services without telling me that they going to the outlet today she they just decided today that they're going to the outlet after school when she gets out of um theater practice or drama practice or whatever practice she in at five o'clock and we going to the mall i was like so when when, when was i going to be privy to this information when was i going to be privy to this information so i have to take her to the mall child let me just write that j and friend 
Um, and the funny thing is, I know you guys are like, why would you even write that? I just need to be able to look back and see all the things that I did. So if I did it, I'm putting on this list. Okay, because I want to feel like I accomplished some things. <laughs> That's just how I feel. But anyway, like I said, I'm going to check all my emails, get this set up right quick, and then we're going to jump in the shower, do our skincare routine, get dressed for the day. Um, and then we're going to come back and get some work done before we have our counseling appointment. Then, like I said, we have a, a um, what do you call? We have a meeting right after that. And then I need to work on some of my tickets. But most of them are on hold. There's really nothing I can do with them. So it is what it is. But we're going to do as much as we can. And then I have been looking at flights for our secret trip. The cheapest and most affordable flights that I can find for all three of us, I'm going to have to leave out of Atlanta. So I'm literally going to have to drive to Atlanta and park my car and then go to the airport. So that's just might what we have to do just to save some money. I know it's going to be tiring or something, but I don't know. I don't have a clue. Uh, so, yeah. But anyway, let me get my life, and I will check in with you guys in a little bit. I've been out of the shower for about 40 minutes. I did do my skincare routine. Oh, I got to put on my moisturizer and my sunscreen. Forgot about that. Um, I was just catching up on some emails. It's almost 9 o'clock. The consultation is at 10.30. I need to give me something to eat. I haven't eaten yet. So, see if my avocado is ripe. See if my bread is still good. And then we can make us some avocado toast this morning. I haven't had avocado toast in so long. It's gonna be so good if everything comes out the way I want to. consultation is done and she seemed really nice and uh, you know I only met her on this first time so you know I could feel different later but I think I'm gonna go ahead and move forward since I contacted two people and the other lady hasn't even responded like nothing crickets okay and she kind of asked me like what made me want to start therapy now and I was like it's not that I wanted to start therapy now I actually wanted to start therapy in the past and I would like a therapist of color and so, you know, a lot of people recommend black girls need therapy or whatever that website is. And the only negative thing I have to say about that website is those people do not call you back. They do not respond. I have put in for several, several therapists on that site to do a consultation, to have an obsession, nothing, crickets. This young lady is the first lady who has ever, ever, I mean, ever. And there's hundreds on there that take my insurance that have responded to me, that have actually responded to me and actually held the session. Like I had one lady respond, but she never, she canceled the session and I never heard from her again. So it's very hard getting a therapist. People act like it's so easy, but it's not. And I know a lot of people are like, well, there's better health, which a lot of people do, you know, stuff about it on YouTube and things like that. But better health doesn't take insurance. Why would I pay I know, okay, for me, I do need a therapist, I believe, but I don't think I need a therapist like as badly as I would need to pay for it out of my pocket because if I have insurance, I want to use my insurance. And that's just point blank period. That's just smart budgeting. If I didn't have insurance or nothing like that, fine. Better Health probably would be the best price. It has, like I said, it'll, it'll be cheaper than going just straight to somebody versus going through this company. But 
the problem with it is, like I said, they don't take insurance, which I think is very odd. Why would you not sign your people up for insurance? Let people use the insurance that they're paying for to get therapy. You know, some people, you don't know, have insurance just for that purpose. And now that insurance companies are starting to pay for therapy, because in the past they didn't, you know, is people want to use their benefits. And I'm one of those people because while financially with my flex card, I could pay for it, but I could use that for other stuff. I need to for my co-pays and things like that. So I want to be able to use my insurance. So that's kind of the reason why it's taken me so long is because people are very unresponsive. And I told her the same thing. We was literally on the same page about it. I was like, girl, I know. You ain't got to say nothing further. I clearly have gotten how that works out for my life. Um, so, yeah. So, she's going to send me paperwork. I'm going to fill everything out. And I'm going to try to get started as soon as possible. Um, she sounds like somebody who I would click with and get along with. And she seems like somebody I can easily talk to. But I'm also not the hardest person to talk to. Like, I'll spill my goods to anybody that I feel like. Well, not anybody. Let's take that back. Um, like my friends, but I don't hold back my feelings. I say what I feel. And if I'm going to be talking to a therapist, like she says, she wants to feel like it's a safe place somewhere where you can spill your guts. She might tell me to be quiet, but I don't know. <laughs> Y'all know I talk a lot. Um, so yeah, but anyway, so that's what's going on with that. So I will keep you guys updated on that process. If you guys would like to know, I don't know. Y'all might not give a damn. Um, and yeah, so that was very promising. So good start to the new year. But anyway, I got a meeting to go to. So I will check in with you guys a little bit later. So it's 134 and I don't have any more meeting. I do have a meeting Dang. at three. I just realized it was there. I'm like, who put this crap right there? Who put that there? I have a meeting at three o'clock. I haven't been to lunch yet, but I need to go by the bank. I need to go pay the water bill. I need to go buy some garbage bags. We're all out of garbage bags. And I wanted some more salad, but I ate all the salad mix. So I don't know if I'm going to stop by the store and pick up some salad stuff or just make me a mini pizza or a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Um, I feel like I don't need to go and buy any salad stuff. I need to go for a full, I don't need a full grocery run, but I need to go to the grocery store. Just like go stop buying little stuff by little stuff because that dwindle down to your grocery budget. Um, so yeah, so I don't want to do that. So I'll probably just run my little errands and then come back home and make me something to eat while I continue to work. We were testing something today and it failed and that was my fault because there was one place where I forgot to put the new code at. So we're going to retest it again, unfortunately. That's my fault. <laughs> I sat there and it's almost two o'clock <laughs> and my meeting at three. Just sad. Still working. Just can't put it down. I will see you guys in the car because I need to concentrate, get this done, and get on up out of here. So I'll be back. All right, you guys. So we have left the house and we are headed to the bank. It is 2.13. See how I never leave on time? Am I the only one? Like, I'm, I, when I get ready to leave the house, I literally, like, go and start collecting trash and all of the kind of stuff to take out to the trash can when I leave the house. And so I never could just pick, my, pick up my purse and be, like, gone. I always looking or gotta do some or tidy some up or do some i can't just straight away leave the house that's why i have to prepare to leave the house several minutes before i need to leave because i'm always gonna do something crazy am i don't want to do that do y'all do that too i feel like as a parent you collect all trash and all things that you can take out while you're going <laughs> you know what i'm saying and so yeah but anywho y'all so the lady did send me all the little like she got some like a little portal that i need to fill out before i can start counseling and then she says she checks in with my uh, insurance company first and all that kind of stuff but I checked my insurance company first before I even scheduled an appointment with her because I knew I wanted to use my benefits to my because I pay for them I would like to use them and um, she was listed so I didn't reach out to anybody who wasn't listed or did didn't say they took my type of insurance basically um so i did do that so she is in network so i don't know i think i only got to pay a 25 dollar copay but we'll see what they come back and tell her that i have to do i don't know i need to call them and ask them for sure myself y'all know that like if you guys don't know i know because i work in insurance you can call your insurance person and say hey this is who i'm going to this is how many times a week i'm going and this is um the services she'll be providing or whatever how much do you anticipate I have to pay? Is there a deductible? Is there a copay? Is there a limit? Like I know some, I don't know if there's a limit on how many sessions you can have, but I think I saw in mine 
it said the limit is a four hour session per day but ain't nobody trying to talk about it for four hours but i could but we ain't trying to do that got other stuff to do but i i ask all those kind of questions when i go uh should have been prepared to ask her questions i had no questions to ask except a couple didn't know what i was supposed to ask then google first then look first then do no research y'all i was just fumbling through it but i think she understood what i was talking about but like i was saying i'm so glad i started therapy therapy has always been like a taboo thing People don't want to tell people they in therapy. They don't want, they don't want nobody to think they crazy and this, that, and other. Y'all got to get away from that old-fashioned thinking. That's some old-fashioned, back-in-the-day type thinking. And that is why so many people are in the position they are, in the headspace they are, homeless or whatever, because nobody wants to acknowledge that some people needed therapy. And if they would have got therapy, they wouldn't have turned out the way they had. They wouldn't have been all... I don't even want to say acting crazy, but just all out of their out of their character, out of their nature, or they got worse and depressed. And then sometimes, you know, therapy, you go to therapy and it don't help. Some people, they go to therapy and it didn't help. But I do believe that if you go and you try your best and, and then it doesn't work, then that's a whole different story. But how will you know if you never try? Because I know therapy saved a lot of lives and sometimes therapy doesn't work because every person is different and everybody's thought process is different. But I definitely do think that therapy is not a taboo. Why have I waited so long to go to therapy? I don't have a clue. I don't even have an answer for you. I don't know. It's probably pure D laziness, not looking anybody up, not trying to find anybody, getting discouraged when I didn't get any answers. A lot of people stop doing stuff because they get discouraged or they get put off by the people they're trying to contact. You know, for instance, you know how people give you a blank a blanket explanation of why they don't do something. Like all black people act crazy, like because they met one crazy black person. <laughs> So it's sort of like that mentality with me. That's the reason why I didn't reach out to probably more therapists because the ones that I reached out never responded to me and never answered me back. And I was like, forget all y'all then, you know, but that wasn't the right way to go about it. I, I, I stand corrected. Okay, I should have just persevered, but I didn't. I just kept it moving and did what I needed to do. But, you know, I'm glad I'm circling back around and uh, trying to get back, um, back on track or whatever. Um, so yeah, but any that's what we're doing. Let's go to the bank. Let's go to pay our water bill. Let's go get some garbage bags and then it will be back to work for our three o'clock meeting. And when that meeting's over, I am officially off work and I don't ask me nothing else that part. <coughs> Cause baby, they got, I mean, I got a little something in, but I didn't get in. I haven't been able to do anything else but work today. Sometimes I can go on my lunch break and side through and do stuff now. I need to put, I'm probably going to wash clothes tomorrow. I was meaning to wash clothes today, but as you saw, it wasn't on my to-do list, so it wasn't at the top of my thought process. When I was making myself breakfast, I could have thrown in a load of laundry. It could have been done by now. So I'm definitely trying to use my dashboard as a way to structure my days and make sure I stay on task and, and check off everything that I want to do for the day. I'm still in the early stages of trying to use this on a daily basis, so I'm not going to be hard on myself. I'm going to give myself grace. You guys know I say that all the time because grace is needed every day, damn near all day. Okay, that part. <laughs> that part. So, any I'm going to stop being silly goofy and I will talk to y'all probably when I'm off work getting ready to go pick up Jalen and then we're going to head to the outlet so she can we're headed to go get Jalen. I hope I'm freezing. I feel like I should have wore something else, but we gonna roll with what I got. Um, and take it to the outlet. I'll probably be inside the food court anyway while they roaming around. And I'll be like, "This where y'all can meet me back at," because I'm not walking around with them. I got my headphones. I got my audio book. <laughs> I am prepared. Prepared. They don't have, if they had Wi-Fi or if I had like a little Wi-Fi thing, I would bring my laptop and do some work, but I don't have, not work for work, but work for myself, but I don't have a hotspot or anything like that, so can't do that. Although Jalen has one, but I want her to have her phone on her. She don't be acting right. <laughs> Anybody got time? We're on the game. But yeah, we're going to go to the school to pick her up. Like I said, she has drama class or practice or whatever they're doing um you guys know well y'all don't know last year she was in spongebob the musical and this year they're doing um adam's family the musical i forgot who she said she was somebody i ain't never heard of but she said she has way more lines and um stuff to do than she did uh, last year so i'm excited to see uh how that turns out 
Uh, I wanted them to do Annie. I felt like they should have did Annie, but that's just me. But anyway, um, they decided to do uh, Adam's Family, the musical. I thought it was just weird. I feel like you should have did that around Halloween time. But who am I? Who am I to dictate? <laughs> that's just my, that's just my thoughts, you know. I ain't got no say so. I always give away too much. Mm. It's like I've got no sense of touch. I'm always pouring out my heart. No little by little here I'm always pushing things too far Two, five, six, ten drinks at the bar No boundaries, I get too close No little by little here Cause I give my all I pour out my heart oh, little by little here I always run at the wall I'd rather jump and rest the fall I see no limits in the sky A little by little here. So we just came out of New Balance I'll probably speed this up because they do have music on. Um, but we just came out of New Balance and I finally got my great New Balances. They were on. They were $59.99 and then I signed up to get an extra $5 off because you already know, okay? So I ended up paying $60 with my $5 off so it paid for most of the taxes so that was great. But I'm about to go into the Coach outlet. I was looking for a purse and I ordered it on the Coach site, but it keeps saying it's gonna ship, it's gonna ship, and then it says, sorry, it's not in stock. And it's done it like three times. So I was trying to see if they had it in, the, in here in their shop, but they may or not have it, but I don't know. So I'm gonna look in here, and if they don't have it, I might just end up canceling my order because I don't know if they're ever gonna get it in. Cause like I said, they keep trying to like send it to me but every time they try to send it to me they tell me it's not available so I don't know what's going on with that but let's just go into the coach store all right guys so I went into the coach store and basically they told me I think it's a it's basically a gimmick they're trying to get you to pay full price for it because it's 219 which I'm not saving that much money so it's not really a big deal but it was 199 when I think I bought it off the website or just 199 all together or whatever the case is anyway it's like I like, guess that $50 not even, is that $50 off $20 off? I don't know what it was so they want us to pay full price and he's like he could order it for me it's available but I don't understand he said when you order it online people are not able to get the purse and I feel like it's something that coach is doing to make you pay full price because they sold probably so many for $1.99 they want to recoup their money and do the full price but that's not right you need to send me the purse I paid for it well I haven't paid for it it's, I ordered it and it should be available for me to purchase and you shouldn't say that I have to cancel mine online if the store can get it in, then the store, they should send it to the store, order it to the store. So I don't know. I'm going to call the 1 800 number probably tomorrow and see what's up. And if it don't work out, I might just say forget it. I mean, I wanted it, it was going to be my sort of Christmas gift to myself, but that's $200 that I could save um, since I haven't paid for it yet. It's just sitting there. So we'll just see how I feel after I talk to customer service if I'm just like, forget it. Sorry, the music. I'm going to have to speed this up a little bit. Say if I'm going to forget it or what. I don't know yet. So, let's go to H&M and <laughs> see what they got. They had a, a little tube top thing that I wanted last time I was here. So, I want to see if they still have it. So, I'll be back. And then the last place we're going to go, of course, is American Eagle. Because I want to see what their clearance says. So I always find the best jeans in their clearance section. So, I want to go over there. Buckaroos. Somebody just had to go to Buckaroos. What she spent money? She got to spend all the money. She ain't got to save none. Where you going? Y'all see on the other side. 
Where are you going? What are you doing? Woo! Ugh, smell like good food up in here. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, we made it home. I'm just gonna show you what I got right quick. I only got two things at the mall or the outlet or whatever. So I got this navy blue. I've been looking for more navy blue stuff. I don't know why, but I got this navy blue sweatshirt that just says oh, Paris. Cute. It has the little buttons, and it's basically the same one that Alicia bought when we went to H&M, but hers is a cream color, but I like this navy blue one, so I got the navy blue. And I finally got my new balances. Y'all know I've been talking about new balances forever. And that was on one of my little like wish list items for the year. So I literally get to tick something off already. Exciting. Yay. Exciting. I'll show you guys. So I got a gray pair. I don't have a gray pair of sneakers. And then my last pair that I said I wanted. I said I wanted a gray pair. And I wanted a navy pair. Or like a navy blue Pair, so I'm still looking out for a navy blue pair. And if they have a navy blue pair of these, I'll get them. So they look like these. They're pretty much the dad, the dad shoe. But I've actually had a pair like these before a long time ago, and they're really comfortable. Yeah, I cute. think they're good walking show shoes as well, if I'm not mistaken. But they're the New Balances 530s. And I did try on a nine, but it was way too big. So I got an eight and a half. And my blurry, I hope my blurry is a lot of blur. So they're called, they're gray. Yeah, see, they're run, it says running. So these are running shoes. But it doesn't have like an official name. It just says MR530CK, if you guys want to know. If I find them, I will link them down below. Like I said, at Journeys, they were $59.99. She tried to charge me more than that. But I was like, no, baby, that ain't what the bottom of the sticker say. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. Aunt, try again. Aunt, try again. So we're going to eat our food. Jayla had me going in the buckle bucky. So I did get some peanut brittle. And then I got some teriyaki chicken with vegetables. Because, you know, Jayla don't eat no vegetables. So. But I did get the pineapple. This is the weirdest combination. This child is weird. <laughs> like, look at this. She has Chinese food with rice and freaking pineapples. What, what kind of combination is that, Jayla? <laughs> How did that work out for you? I just love pineapple. I know, but you're supposed to eat them separate. Ugh. I'm not eating them together. I'm you want to show the people what you got? You want to do a haul? Oh, yeah. Move okay. your food because you can get all your stuff in your food. Jayla going to do her haul. So, what's okay. she get? Okay, okay. I'm going to stick on a pose with someone. So, this I already got this. Let okay. get everything. Let me get my life together. Okay. My mom has to see when I got it. So, what store? All right, so this is from Hot Topic because okay. y'all know. I'm an emo girl, so, <laughs> <laughs> so I got this cute little plushie of a cat. Cute. Whose name is? I named him Lemon because he's green. I thought it was Melon. You oh, it's mind. Melon. It's Melon. <laughs> <laughs> she don't even know his name. Melon. Melon. His name is Melon because he looks like a watermelon. Okay, we ain't got all day. Keep going. Okay, dang. Okay. <laughs> then I got me a, a fashionable belt. Mm -hmm. Is because... it too big? Did you try it on? Yeah, I tried it on. Girl, that thing looks long with your little self. What is that, a 2X? 2X. Why did you get a 2X belt? <laughs> I, I wrapped it around and it fit fine. Okay. Okay, so I got this belt. This and fashion a two belt. In a 2X. And because I needed I, I needed a belt that fit with my pants because I wasn't going to wear my work belt. And then I got this cute little clip to go in my hair. <laughs> you got to show them. You ain't even holding it up. Okay. All right, there you go. All right, and then I got, and of course I got to get earrings from there. And these earrings are really, really cute. Jalen, I'm sorry. You were oh. <laughs> y'all. Okay. She gonna learn one day. Okay, so, so there's these, some roses. These are cherries, cherries and then a heart, heart. and, I don't and know. pearl key and another heart at the mm. top. You guys, I don't know if it's gonna focus. Move your head behind it. Yeah, cause sometimes I try to focus. So that's what her little earrings look like, you guys. Super duper cute. I really like the roses though. Yeah, my middle name yeah. is Rose. Yep. So those are cute. All right. All right. And I think that's it for Hot Topic. Then I went to Rue 21. Sadly, I didn't get anything from H&M like I usually do because they didn't have them. So of course, got some perfume. She gonna have every perfume they have in there so by the time. <laughs> this one <laughs> is Pink Eyes. It smells oh, Pink Eyes. It smells really good actually. Okay. And then I have Blush. 
This one right here. She one. already got what, like six of them. Yeah, I have six f- now. No, you have four before, and them two make six. Yeah, them make six. Oh, okay. And then I bought me some socks from there. Some cute little socks. I think these are like little heart designs right here, and then this is just white, and then these are just black. And it has an initial on it. Yeah, it says LA on it. Oh, okay. Uh huh. So those are some socks, and then I got me a cute little shirt that has a hood. I think a hood on it. I don't know. She don't yeah, even know. It a, yeah, it has a hood on it. Yeah, it has a cute little hood, and this is the design of the shirt. I like. And it got some on the arm too. Yeah, it has something on the arm. Oh, I didn't even see that. Ooh, it's a little heart on it. Can okay. they see it? Yeah, we see it. All right, and uh, ooh, and I got me some glasses and some jewelry because y'all know I'm extra. So oh, got some more shades. So I got these cute ones. Put them on. Let's see. Uh, I'm expecting to put them on. But... <laughs> they're bluish purple color. Yeah, they're bluish purple. I really like them though. I wasn't gonna buy them, but I was like, you know what? She was like, get yourself. No, she was. She was like, she was like two. For this much, I was like, oh, okay, bet. Mm-hmm. Then I got this cute little necklace because it matches with my earrings mm-hmm. right here. So I was like, hey, I want to buy these because it matches with my earrings. All right, and then, damn, girl, what else you got in there? This is the last one. Uh huh. Got some cute little blue light glasses. Oh, you got some clear ones? Mm-hmm. I thought you already had a pair of clear ones. I know, but those are kind of like, they're kind of like broken. So Why I you do that? I didn't do, well, I would put them on, but the way they close, it's not like this. It's kind of like, it closes by itself. So mm-hmm. this is not sturdy, is what I'm saying. Oh, okay. So it's kind of like flimsy. Gotcha. But yeah, these these are the blue light glasses. They're really super duper cute. She got some clear ones like mine. Mm-hmm. Copycat! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Whatever, I love clear. And that's all I have. And of course, I got me some teriyaki chicken, a couple of snacks from Bucky's, and some pineapple. Alright, so that's Jalen's haul. But anyway, we're going to enjoy our ditters. Ditters. And I will check in with you guys when I'm about to wind down for the night because we're not doing too much else. I'll be back. I'm about to go to bed. We all going to bed. Good night. Good. I will see you in the manana. You too. I will see you in the tomorrow. In the tomorrow. In the tomorrow land. Right. Good night. Good night. My love. I'm going to put on these shoes because I want to see how they look on. Like I didn't try them both on when I was in the store. So we're going to get a first look. Let's turn on the lights. I'm excited. I'm excited Ugh, for these. So let's try them on. I don't know. I've been complaining about not having a gray pair of sneakers for a minute now. So when I make my made my wish list for this year, I knew that was gonna be at the top of my list. And the price is even better than I thought it would be. Yes, sir, Bobby. Let's talk about if these get wet. The gray part might bleed into the color. Really new balance. So basically you tell me don't wear these in the rain. <laughs> That's what you're telling me? Is that what you're saying? Alright, let's try them on. So this is what they look like. Super cute, right? I love like that is light gray and dark gray and white. Like perfect color combination. And like I said, I will be on the lookout for some navy blue ones as well. Um, but these fit perfect. I have enough room that if I walk in them and my feet swell, they still would be comfortable. And that's kind of what you have to look at. People don't realize when you, you can't get your perfect size when you're using shoes to walk around or exercise. Because as you walk around and everything, everybody feet swell. It doesn't even matter how small you are. That's just a factor. Um, so yeah. But yeah, these are cute, you guys. And they feel good. So, let me show you guys. Now, they do, like, they're definitely, um, what do you call them? Like, slip resistant. Like, I can't, like, they're stuck to the floor. 
like I'm doing this, I can't move my feet. Like these right here, if I slide my feet on the floor, they're going to slide. But these, these are slip resistant. So that's great too. I actually like that feature. I'm oh, sorry, I'm just moving the camera around. But look how good they look with my gray pants now. So I literally have a gray pair to match all of my gray pants. So this is what they look like. So they look really good. Oh, sorry. I keep moving the camera. I'm trying to move it. I'm trying to show y'all and be steady at the same time. It's hard. But yeah, what do you guys think? I love them. And for $59, like I said, definitely a steal. But anyway, we're about to wind down. I'm about to do my skincare routine. And then I am going to put on my pajamas. And we're going to get into bed. And probably watch like one movie or either one TV show. While I set up my planner for tomorrow. All the things that are in my mind that I want to do. I need to brain dump out into it and then kind of go through and organize it maybe tomorrow or the day after tomorrow but i want to get it out before i forget everything that i want to do so yeah that part um but yeah so i will talk to you guys later deuces all right you guys so we are all winding down i have my pajamas on my bonnet is on um i did just finish updating my notion and i'm drinking my water but um i wanted to update you guys so like i said i have like a wish list of a low buy year and so i am going to set so far i have three categories I have clothes shoes and experiences i don't know if i need any other category i would say home but y'all know i'm going to remodel my bathroom so that's not really going to be anything that's going to be part of the low buy because that's more like a renovation so I don't think I'm going to count home in there because the only thing I should be doing for my home or buying for my home is stuff for my bathroom. Um, so I think clothes, experiences, and shoes. I think that's it. I'm not really a bag person. Um... I think that's about it if i ever if i think of something else or something different i will add it in and the idea is set a budget for each one of those areas but those pumas that i saw in famous footwear i love them i love the white ones and i love the blue ones and so i've been searching online to see if i can find a better price because that's one thing about when you're doing a low buy year you think about okay before i would just buy them and be like 69 dollars is a great price $69 is a great price and not think twice about it but they're on Amazon for $55 I don't know what size I wear so I'll need to go back to Famous Footwear try them on and see what's the most comfortable size and then go buy them somewhere else cheaper the, they have just the white ones I saw on Amazon but they were they were $55 but I think they only had a size 10 and I don't really know what if I wear a 10 or not I don't know if they run small if they run big or what because I didn't get a chance to try them on so I have to go back and then um, Famous Footwear sells them the blue one and the white ones that I like. And I saw some men pair that I want that's like black, white, and gray. Super dope. Um, buy one, get one 50% off. So then I'm saving even more money. Even if I am paying $69.99, I'll get $35 off my total. So versus paying seventy a hundred and forty dollars for the shoe i'll pay what's that so 70 and 35 is seven eight nine ten like a hundred and four dollars so i'll be saving like thirty dollars thirty clearly kill should be saving thirty five dollars dummy sorry <laughs> it's late at night my brain ain't working right i'll be saving thirty five dollars for both pairs so that's what it takes to shop around. When you see something, you can shop around. You can wait till it goes on sale. Whatever the case may be, if you really want something, you know, you'll put it on your little wish list and then you will just, you know, wait around to see if it goes on sale. See if you can find it somewhere cheaper. See if you can find a deal. Anything possible to get what you want without paying full price and not going over your budget for the year when you're trying to do a low buy so um so yeah and y'all know high top sneakers are my style i'm really not a low top sneaker girl um too much it just depends on the sneaker so like i love those new balances like i know i wear them but i'm more of a high top girl even though i don't have a lot 
I like the Jordans, but I don't want to pay the Jordan price. So these Pumas give me the Jordan look and feel without the Jordan price. And I'm okay with that, okay? Sometimes you just got to stay in your damn lane, okay? I ain't I ain't the Jordan, Jordan, Jordan spending money type girl. I'm a Puma spending type girl. So <laughs> that part. But yeah, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Hanging out with me and kind of... Uh, going along with me in my process of using Notion and um, explaining my low buy year and how I'm going to try to t tackle that and um, get myself together for the rest of the year. That's what's going on. So I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you turn the notification bell so you don't miss videos from me. And I will see you guys on Friday for another video. Deuces. <laughs>